I think the rollout in 5G in India is actually very exciting. You know, the, the competition between the standalone network and the non-standalone in such a big market, so rapidly exposing so many people to 5G, is really going to kickstart the ecosystem and really put India at the forefront of global 5G development, really put India on the map. I think, uh, so we, we release our annual forecast um, next February. I'm expecting to see a, uh, an adjustment in those, those numbers because uh, our last forecast were done last February um, and well before you know, even India had announced its 5G auctions um, had been complete. So I think uh, a very positive step in those numbers, I think. Well, I think uh, the interesting thing about fixed wireless access is, I mean, even countries like the US, who, who most people would think have high fiber penetration or cable penetration, uh, have significant fixed wireless access business. So I think for India, it's going to be actually uh, a market which very many people are interested in watching because you know fiber penetration is not as high as a lot of the advanced markets. And so how much f fixed wireless access becomes a replacement for fiber or a temporary fix for fiber, we'll wait and see. Well, I think uh, obviously rollout of network, um, so it's enough coverage and penetration is going to be one of the, the big cha biggest challenges. I mean, it is a significant investment required to roll out in such a big country, in such a big market. And I think it's about managing the, the rollout speed versus the adoption and the usage, which you know, is about managing the business case. And I think uh, you know, they're probably going to be some of the biggest challenges. Well, I think globally there's a lot of debate uh, around OTT and fair share of, of network. I think that, that debate's still ongoing. Um, we expect there to be a, a point of discussion at Mobile World Congress next year. And so, a bit early for me to say. <laughs> well, I, think, uh, I think it was a very promising event and it was a nice diversity of the audience. I think the, the discussions run the, run the full spectrum really of, around infrastructure and also a number of other topics like digital inclusion. So I think uh, as 5G starts to roll out, it's important to spread the message and to debate you know, what's going to be successful, what's not, what the challenges are. And so all, just, all, all that discussion, I think, makes a very positive contribution, not only to the government, but to the industry and to the ecosystem. And it's all, all part of that momentum that you still need to build up. And I think uh, you know, very strong, very promising, strong momentum to start with. Well, this is, I think I've participated in uh, previous editions, the online version. Um, and you never get the sense, really, of the feeling of the people in the room. So um, I've really enjoyed coming and, and being part of the event, being able to actually talk to people once you step off the stage. Because in the online environment, you, you give your speech and then that's done. So it's been great meeting people from around the ecosystem and the industry.